park and amusement park. They ride bikes, play baseball, and wait in line for ice cream cones. Tonight in our Friday Focus, photojournalist Dave Delosier and Kim Christensen take us to another place where kids in Lafayette show up early just to get in. A white dog with black spots. This is every parent's dream, a child away from the TV reading out loud. Mr. Brown can do it, how about you? When they left. All summer long, this is what six-year-old Lauren has been looking forward to. He must be in shape. A chance to show off everything she learned in kindergarten. Every dog's human except one. A chance to read a dog story to someone who really gets it. Mingo is a good listener. <laughs> I bet his human would be surprised. Mingo, Ollie, Rusty, well, and Beepy are part of the most popular reading program at the Lafayette Public Library. Pause to read. Do you want me to hold the book so you can pet Mingo with one hand? Uh-huh. Okay. I think there's that piece of compassion, you know, like just, you know, having someone's undivided attention who, you know, you know is there because they want to be there with you. Sam is not lonely anymore. There is no half listening here. These therapy dogs practically lap up every story. Hello. Hey! Doggy slobber. <laughs> dog uh, slobber. He likes that book. Some dog slobber. Kai has been devouring books since he was two years old. Okay, can we get the reading now? And he knows when listening ears are turned on. They always have such big ears. Look at his ears. They are really big. They're great catalysts for communication, so they can multitask with the ears. Like he said, you know, they have big ears. They can hear everything. My home would never expect me to. Would a good listener with a good reader, and you tell a great story. I'd do anything for Maggie. They're not judgmental. They don't judge on and if the child makes a mistake. You know, it's just, it's a nice way for them to communicate. Okay, is this the last page? This is storytelling at its very best. Young readers take a cue from their parents. They curl up with a friend and a book. And together, they drift into story time. Mingo, do you like to hear the stories? Kim Christensen. Oh, there she goes. Her eyebrows are moving. She's still awake. Nine News. But just barely. Several public libraries in the metro area offer the Pause to Read program. Therapy dogs will also travel to schools to encourage children to read and read out loud. What a great shot, the dog with his head on the little boy's lap. <laughs> yeah, we're all dog owners, can you tell? We <laughs> oh, love yeah, that story. Yeah, we love kids and dogs. And yeah. Kim always does such a nice job. Yes, she does. And so does Dave. Wow, nice break from the heat today.